The 14th Amendment's dead. The Equal Protection Clause ensures that every American citizen is treated fairly and equally in the eyes of the law. Nor shall any state deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Now, the 14th Amendment was necessary during Reconstruction to make sure black Americans were treated equally. And the law has been interpreted to cover skin color, gender, religion, nationality, because society cannot function if laws apply to certain groups and not to others. And just like Democrats opposed ending slavery, today's left still insists on discriminating based on race. After a months-long strike, Portland's Teachers Union hammered out a new contract. And the contract says teachers can discipline white students differently than black students, and black students differently than Hispanic students. So if a student is disruptive in class, the schools must, quote, take into consideration the impact of issues related to the student's trauma, race, gender identity, presentation, sexual orientation, disability, social, emotional learning, and restorative justice. So here's my advice to Portland students. If you get in trouble, come out of the closet. If you get into a fight, tell the dean you're transitioning. White students, good luck. Time to find the family tree. Maybe your grandpa had high cheekbones like Liz Warren's. That's not what I said, that's what she said. Otherwise, detention. This type of disciplinary inequality, you already see it in today's criminal justice system. Remember those Trantifa animals who laid siege to the federal courthouse in Portland? All those charges were dropped. When you have green hair and you identify as a rainbow, you are treated differently. Or if you're a migrant who gets popped for a DUI in San Francisco, no problemo. They don't deport. It's a sanctuary. You get special treatment. Or these BLMers who torched a Wendy's. That's not what they meant when they said flame broiled. You know, most of us consider that arson to 20-year felony. Nope. Probation. The fire was mostly peaceful. Obama started this in 2014. He threatened to investigate schools if black students were disciplined at a higher rate than whites. And he ignored the fact that the teachers disciplining the black students were very often also black. This attitude's wreaking havoc on the country. So-called authority figures feel uncomfortable doling out punishment. And so they let crimes and bad behavior go unpunished. And this creates big problems for all of us.